We're going to do the invitation if y'all will stand and then we'll do the pledge of the Lord. Would anybody like to say a prayer? Chip? I'll do it. Bow our heads, please. Lord, we're thankful for this day. We're thankful for all your many blessings, even those we don't deserve. We ask, Lord, that you forgive us when we fail you. Thank you, Lord, for your love and mercy. Go with us through this meeting, Lord, that we may right, make the right decisions and do things that are best for the public. And everybody said amen. 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 Thank you. Pledge of allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I've been sitting all day. Debbie Cobb, here. Jenny, here. Don Nelson, and I'm, and I'm here. I want to welcome you, Donna. Thank you, Don. All right. Uh, approval of the minutes. Do you want to read the minutes from the last meeting? Uh, on July 29th at 5 p.m., the Benton County Election Committee committed the election office. The uh, meeting was called to order by Chairman Debbie Kyle, Pledge of Allegiance, Invitation by Debbie Kyle. Y'all call all present. Minutes from June 24th meeting on Jerry Brown and Jenny Beasley. Approval of minutes passed unanimously. Three applications for administrative elections reviewed by Janet Heaton and Jenny Beasley and read by Debbie Kyle. A fourth application was announced as not qualified by Chairman Debbie Kyle. Motion to appoint Jeff Beasley as Administrator of Elections, made by Danny Heaver, second by Jenny Beasley. Roll call vote on Administrator of Elections, Danny Heaver, yes, Jenny Beasley, yes, and Debbie Kyle, yes. Other business motion by Danny Heaver for Election Commission to meet monthly for a few months until the new Election Administrator is time, second by Jenny Beasley. Motion passed by unanimous vote. <coughs> motion to adjourn meeting made by Jenny Hebron, second by Jenny Beasley, passed unanimously. Motion to approve. I'll make a second. Mm -hmm. Aye. You want to take a roll call? Roll call, Jim. I already roll call. Oh, roll vote on. Oh, okay. Okay. So we don't have to do a roll call on that, do we? No, we didn't say we didn't. Well, all those in favor. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Madam Chairman, I have a point of order. It's not a public meeting if the public cannot hear you. Amen. <coughs> you have to be able to hear it's not a public meeting, Jeff. Because the public's got to be able to hear. Yeah. Well, I've been involved long enough, you've got to be able to hear. I, I'm not arguing the fact that you've been involved long enough, sir, but you can move forward. Are they can they come inside over here? Can they come inside over here? Mm -mm. You can. They need desktops to do the work on, sir. Uh, you can move closer. You can stand at the counter if you want. Okay, that'd be great. Thank you. Need to be spaced properly. Uh, there's no requirement. Appreciate that, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next on the agenda is the administrator of elections report. All right, here is the report. Uh, <coughs> well, the registrations have been done. 151 registrations have been completed. Yeah. Here's the box. They're in alphabetical order. If you this is 151 that you've done? It's 151 that I've done since I've been here. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right, how is it going? Uh, slow, but it's going. Uh, training, well, let me just uh, I'll read you what I got. Uh, both myself and the deputy, Mr. Mary Harrington, who will come out in a minute, I'll introduce her. Uh, working hard to learn new processes, and uh, the training continues for both of us. Uh, as of today, all registrations that were online and mailed in to this office during the time there was no personnel here along with those that have been mailed in or received online are completed. Purge files that were here prior to my appointment have been
been stored in boxes and locked in the storeroom. Uh, there was too many to go through. So it's legal to remove those <coughs> in case I have to go back and pull a purge, purge card, I have them. Uh, new purge system or new way we're doing it is by the month and year. Purge voters, you only retain these cards for two years. So by keeping them by the month and the year, at the end of September 2023, these cards will be destroyed. Um, we've got new, uh, new wallet card stock and new registration card stock. These new wallet cards, it's trifold. So when uh, the voter gets it, <coughs> mold it over, tape it, put a stamp on it, and out the door it goes. No blood all the time? This new uh, registration <coughs> card stock has all the proper information on the back. You do your OVRs, print it right out, and you're good, and you can keep more uniformity with your filing system, and you don't have papers that are getting slid underneath, because that was happening a lot. I was finding multiple registration cards that had rolled underneath the rest of them. So by doing this and making the cards rigid, they'll, they'll so stand up. Like this now. And they all have labels. And they, what we're doing now is we have the label with the name. All their information is right up there on top. So you can just flip through right at the top and see the name. Uh, the, the, the old dot matrix printer that was here uh, was not compatible with the new computer systems and it came over on the Mayflower. It was not functioning properly. Every time you printed a card it would kick the card sideways. The gears were out of sync or something so every time you printed a card you'd have to go back and line the card up and uh, like the old dot it was the old dot matrix, yeah. And it was replaced with this one that uh, is a scanner, color printer, so you can, we can scan our cards in, we can print cards right here, and uh, it keeps us where we're not having to run back and forth and kind of streamline everything. All this equipment, as you know, was bought with uh, Homeland Security grant money for election security, uh, and that is... Is that uh, the one you just complained was the slowest printer on that? No, that's this one. That was, this one came with the Mayflower. <laughs> well, I don't know when the other one came over. It probably came with the Mayflower because that's, that's, that's the USS Enterprise compared to that Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it? I wrote this down so I wouldn't forget nothing. Okay, so, so uh, uh, all, all our computers are now updated. They're all uh, Windows 10. Windows 10. Uh, and all the printers and all the scanners are functional with that now. They weren't before. Uh, what we're looking at <coughs> in the future, uh, from here on out, since we, we're caught up on registrations, we're going through and, I guess, redoing the filing system. We're, we're, kind of, we're, we're getting rid of all the stuff that is beyond the date to keep and we are also neatening up the system. Uh, this is my deputy, Mary Harrington. Uh, she's a rock star. She, I have to literally, I have to tell her to go home because she won't get, she'll start something and she won't quit. So I've learned now at about a quarter to four, Mary, find you a stopping point but she's doing fantastic work. She's got over 30 years of office experience. And here's, here's what her files look like when she gets done. Oh, wow. Okay. Not the back half. No. I, I can tell where you stopped. Wow. <coughs> wow. Well, in order to make things more efficient, and that's, that's my aim, is to streamline and make things more efficient. 
you got to be able to find what you're looking for. So have you clearly marked files in order and mark everything marked where you know where it's at. You can go through it right there. If somebody comes in here and wants something, I'm the last one that wants to look unorganized because I've got to go search for whatever I'm looking for. I, I need to know where it's at and I need to be able to find it. Uh, we're going to start working on getting ready for the uh, next election. That's going to include uh, some dates and stuff processing the Voter Central program. Uh, we're going to start looking out for, uh, you know, play, we'll, we'll be placing ads for, for poll workers, machine techs, uh, part-time personnel for early voting and, and election day, and getting ready for elections in the future. Uh, I don't know if you noticed or not, Mr. Andy Shannon came to me and said, how would you feel about getting the carpets cleaned? I said, I think that's a fantastic idea uh, because they spend, this dirt was in here for the last 25 years, I guess. <coughs> so uh, I want everybody to know how grateful I am to him. He's been a good help to me. And uh, getting the carpets cleaned was, was, a, was <laughs> it was almost a necessity. Uh, the room actually smells better after the, mm -hmm. After all the, the dirt was pulled up, the water that was being dumped out of that carpet cleaning machine was as black as coal. So I don't know when the last time they were cleaned, and that's not a that's not a, a ding on anybody. It's probably just wasn't a service that was made available. Mr. Shannon made it available, and, and uh, he already had them coming to do some county buildings, and he just put this man on the mix. So, uh, I guess that's about it for what I've got for you. Uh, Everything is caught up as far as the registration, and uh, we're we're working hard every day to uh, pick up a little little more information every day. I did do the seminar yesterday; it was virtual. Uh, got a lot of good information. Uh, got some packet information. Even got uh, one for the uh, sheriff's department is is already uh, ready to go. So anybody comes in here. For a candidate for sheriff, uh, all I gotta do is just hand them the packet and push them up, and they're, they're ready to go. And that's my goal <coughs> for every office is to have the material that they need ready to go when they come in here and ask for it, so they can they can their 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 time is as valuable as as mine, and uh, they don't need to be standing here waiting for me to. <coughs> These are fine things. And your mother came in here today and got some information, and, and I had to apologize to her because our uh, Voter Central has got one uh, little niche to it, and you have to kind of go through uh, extra processes to burn a CD or to find <coughs> that. So that took a little longer. I, was, I, I, I did my best to apologize to her as much as I could uh, for the delay. That's about all I got. Y'all have any questions? You're tonight? not doing redistricting, right? We are not. Well, the plan is not to do redistricting. Our uh, population uh, in all districts stayed within the window of 5% or less. And with that being said, that leaves redistricting. Actually, there's no gain from it other than you might move 10 voters out of a district they've been in for all their lives and then to go up there and say well now you're going to vote over here because I, I, it, it doesn't there's actually no net gain to it we're going to have uh, redistricting committee meetings about this but right now not final right now we're leaning toward no redistricting if it's not broke there's no sense in fixing it and if it's nothing but a bunch of work to move 10 voters <coughs> it's not working. He just said it was equal, 5% or less. Yeah, here's, here's our new uh, map right here, and the deviations are negative. Here's a 1% in the first district, negative 2 in the second, 0 in the third, negative 3 in the fourth, 5% in the fifth, and negative 1 in the sixth. So we actually lost population. Yeah. And the only lines that you can move or really to put maybe something in here that move some uh, some of the district five mm -hmm. square it up. There's just there's there's not. We looked at the map and there's just there's not enough 
of the voters <coughs> would be moved. It, 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 it's just no, there's no gain to it. Absolutely no gain whatsoever. Okay, I want to ask, are we going to have a May primary? Yes. Uh, is the Democrats, is all the paperwork, the Democrats and Republicans turning their paperwork? The Democrats missed the deadline, so they got to caucus now, unless there's some other avenue they can take. They're, they're meeting tonight also at 6 p.m., and they're going to be discussing about the caucus. Um, the deadline was missed, just like Jeff says. Um, it just didn't get met. <coughs> so there will not be a Democratic primary. No. If they caucus, they can put somebody on the ballot. But they, if, they, if they do that, and they've got two people running for one office or want to run for one office, the other person can't run in any other party. They can't claim independent and run. They're, they're, they're just completely out of running. It, it's illegal for them to go in after, after the party gets caucused and pick their candidate for them to say, okay, well, I'm going to go I'm gonna go independent. They, they can't do that. Can you close the deadline that, that, that it was? I get my calendar. You sure would appreciate it. <coughs> Yeah, he's out. Yeah. Well, and that has the list of how many uh, 
uh, deficiencies. There were some uh, ballots that were, or some registrations that were rejected because of deficiencies. Uh, there was a, there was 12 that came in where felon had been marked yes. So when that happens, if they're a registered voter, you, by the law, you have to remove their registration from the active voter, purge them, and send them documentation. I send them a new registration. I send them why that their ballot was rejected, their registration was rejected, a letter stating everything, and then they have to send me a uh, send me a new one back. And then the state does a check with the PBI to make sure that they're not a felon. And then they can be reinstated. Uh, that's, you, that's have any, you have how many of those? Twelve. Do you I, have any that didn't mark like citizen or? I had uh, <laughs> two that didn't mark. They'd be 18 years <coughs> of age. I had one done in pencil, one with no social security number, and two that didn't answer the citizenship question. Okay. And so, if they don't answer the and you explain to them why? Yeah, I put, I put together a packet for them that it explains the, uh, what they failed to answer or what they answered, like the felon question, to bring on this effort. Uh, and that's all put together, mailed out, and kept in the deficiency. Uh -huh. And rejected. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes, and kind of sort of. Well, what are the requirements in Tennessee for a felon to regain their right to It depends on their felon. It depends on what their crime was. If it's murder, rape, or crime against a minor, they're done. Can we get, can you get, can you get something back? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. If they want to get things like They're alphabetical. And then now there's one that the, I get a document from the uh, circuit court clerk. Mm -hmm. Same ring order sends me down a document. Mm -hmm. He's been sending, uh, I'll call it the short form. I don't know what the numbers are. Okay. No but I have to get the long form. And I talked to Sam thing. about that. And he sent me the right stuff. The reason you have to do that is that they may have been okay, so charged with a felony, but they may have put it down. So they want to convict this. Exactly. So if I have that documentation, that saves them a lot of headache because it's a pain. It's a lot of work to do all this stuff and send all this out. And, and, and I, I actually called the state and I said, it looks like possibly that maybe somebody at the DMV is just going out and hitting yes. I don't know, but I said, I've got a, you know, I've got a bunch of these. Mm. Is that where those registrations are coming from? Yeah, uh, we'll look back in there, uh, and some of them were from last year. So they either hadn't been processed or they hadn't been put into the history. But I had eight that were from last year. And one of them I knew the guy. So I called him. I said, you ain't got no felony. He said, no, I ain't got no felony. I said, well, why did you want yes to the felony? He said, I, I didn't mark it. I said, yes, you did. I'm looking at it. And I told him what I had to do. He just laughed it off. He said, hey, bro, do what you got to do. We'll straighten it up. I said, okay. So, you know, I'm sure there's going to be people coming here mad. Okay, so I don't want any eligible voters, but I don't want all eligible voters. That's the day they sign it. That is my ultimate. I want it and comes so like straight on the computer program from the Complete state. transparency. That's the, um, everybody. With the I have no credit. He wouldn't have to do that. He wouldn't. Everybody was legal. Not a to when did he send a to card to, to the people? Yeah. Uh -huh. And who had a vote from county to vote for that person. Prior to all of us, they were having the contact that they were in Greenland Parish. It's a day to the time.
y'all need. I, they did not. I went to another county and they helped show me, you know, how to do it. And they did not mention putting my date on there. Yeah, when we process it. Yeah, right. uh, I know. Well, the I'm computer, sure. when you put it in. Yeah, when you do that, Bonnie Central puts a mod date on there, which means the date that it was done. The modification date. But we can get all that information. Okay, yeah, I buy this. Okay. And that's gonna make a. I don't know how many. I mean, there was a lot here when I got here. Uh, well, so we realize that this batch is going to be going to take longer. Yeah. But going forward, it's but the, the thing is, you can, you only have to do ten percent, and you don't have to inspect more than two hundred. Right. Okay. How I'm much longer will there be? I can't get on the. Uh, Voger thing checked out at four, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got. You can get on Voger, sir. Yeah, well, I can be doing something while y'all do finish if you want me to look in there and see what they're doing. I don't, I don't think nobody wants to be here at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you do this tomorrow? I know, tomorrow? I'm getting hungry. I will yeah. do this tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I ain't getting on lunch today. I'm about to start. No, they know you do. They know you do. I ain't just gotten the supper done and sitting there for the girls. Okay. Uh, 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 do you want to say? Uh, is there anything we need to talk about? Uh, we were going to open and inspect the ballot box, and we have decided that we are going to wait for further guidance. For further guidance from the state election. What we need to do and that, you know, what the proper what procedure would what be. We're that. opening and uh, inspection of the ballot boxes. We're just okay. going to ask for. I got I got to get some legal guidance on that to make sure we don't do anything that's that's not above board. Right. Right. <laughs> um. All right. Um. Do y'all want to go ahead and schedule the next meeting? Okay. Yes. We we probably need to do it tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Did y'all 
No, I have It's anything. just, ma'am, so that it'll be in order, so that yeah. these guys like. Well, you say just type it in right here. The order, public comments, and then we sign in as we get here. Right, right. now, technically, we don't have public forum scheduled in this meeting. But you re granting, are required by law. We're here. granting it. But well, there's it's by law. Any but other any other business, I would like you to take public, public yeah, comments. Take public comments today. And, and I can show you the Supreme Court law that says you're required to. Ma'am, the law is right there in the paper. The Supreme Court constitutional law, and I don't think a rule from the Election Commission supersedes the United States Constitution. Well, I tell you what, I will research this and make sure that it's within the parameters of the laws, and I will get you documentation, and we can go from there. Uh, if you leave me your name and your phone number, uh, mm -hmm. your address, I'll mail it to you. Get it ready. I'll come back for it. Okay. I, I don't know your name or your number. No, you don't. Okay. You can use your mail. In your business. So we want to wait on this and you're going to do research before it opens? Yeah, I'll make sure that this is a... Uh, a uh, Multiple counties have adopted this, and I think it was the thing that was against the Constitution. Against the Constitution, that it would probably be already have been a stink raised about it. But Can y'all get there, me it's a stink all over the country about it. Just because you haven't faced it yet, people all over this country are standing oh up God. saying, You can't I silence me. Here's what the law is. No, 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 don't do it today. You can wait and do it. This is what I'm, I'm not at all trying to silence you. This is what she. I spent 25 yeah, years in the Air Force. To make I sure spent that time you have in the, the Air Force you have. I'm not at all trying to silence you. This is the one I, That's I like the, the impression we're receiving. No, and it's not a good impression for the brand new commissioner. I'm like the most commissioner. Well, the brand new commissioner had to make some changes. I didn't say commissioner. The brand new commissioner. Well, that's fine. But the. I'd like, like, like to make a comment. I like really appreciate how this meeting has been conducted. And I think we have to do what's right. I'm going to do what's right. Yeah. I promise you. I'm going to do what's right. I believe that. Within the law. Because everybody knows there was dirty deal. Okay, in, in any other business, I'd like to bring something up. There's been a lot of people that have contacted me, and a lot of people that are saying that. We want to do away with paper ballot voting machines. So if I have to step uh, to go with just electronic, okay, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we do not do away with paper ballot voting machines. I want Amen. To
network for confidential information. And that was according to the state. Okay, what we had was Langford's routers that were not secure. Okay, so when the state went in remotely to our computers, they saw that we did not have what we needed to have as far as protecting the data. So at that time, uh, I talked to the State Election Commission and they said we had to have everything secure. So uh, I contacted Scott and Scott came in and he has secured the network where everything, all the confidential information is secure. I signed a contract. The state told me that I was allowed to as a chair. Okay. If it had not been for Scott, you know, I can't thank you enough. Thank you, Scott. Carson Kane from the state, who does all the IT uh, in all the 95 counties. He came in and I and he I, I went back there with him. He got on the computer and he said that he wished that all 95 counties were as secure as we were. Well, that's an honor. And he said that it would make his job a lot easier. So he said that we are as secure as any, any of the other counties. So I want to thank you for that. Uh, Did you and I'm and telling you. I called Carson myself and had a lengthy conversation with Carson about Scott. Mm -hmm. Carson assured me that he had full confidence in Scott and that he didn't do anything without his approval. So right. there, there's no, these computers are not online. It, it actually pains me because when you call me about a problem, I have to physically come up here every single time because of the security here, because I cannot do it remotely, and it bugs the crap out of me. Well, that's but right. that's part of it. <laughs> I'm going to say this. When I call him, he comes, and he fixes the problem, and he's actually fixed things that are not in his contract to deal with. He has, he has messed with a lot of, like the printer problems that I had, things like that that, he, that, that is not in his contract, and he done it anyway. So I, I don't have any issues whatsoever with Scott. If, if I could say that Janet and I were here for four to six weeks and Scott came when he was called, he came as quick as possible, he could get anything done, including the front door that was <laughs> left unlocked for years, left unlocked 24-7 for years. He managed to get someone here that could fix that door and get cameras installed and get the computer work done. And, and, and I don't know how anybody could accomplish that much in such a short period of time. Well, if there wasn't a real effort put forth on the guys that are doing the work, which he did. I bet that's somebody for a And I thank Garrett also, being as he's not here tonight, Garrett was with him most of the time and helped to see to get all that done. Not unnecessarily change the door locks because of necessity. So the only computer that's online that's connected to the internet mm -hmm. when I leave here is the one in my office. That's it. So without a route from the internet, they can, there's no access to these computers. But that computer, if I may, um, is not connected to the state information no, that is downloaded not. every it is, day. It's, it's, right. it's, it's you know, no voter information, no So I have to go in there and Google it. some stuff sometimes because that's, that's just when you're doing research, you gotta you, you got to Google it. You, you know, you gotta, you got to find documents and stuff, and that, that, that's the way I do that in there. And that's why it's on, I guess, what we call the military, the, the, the dirty net. It wasn't sec not secure. Well, I will get y'all a copy of the contract, I just, I was running late for today. I will get y'all all so y'all will have a copy. I'll get you a copy, but I didn't sign. I just wanna say, I Person really has appreciate. a copy of that contract as well. Okay, I just, I wanna say, I appreciate, so I wanna tell you that, that I'm the one that did it, and I'm so glad and so thankful that wow. we did it. So thank you. Good thank you, you're gonna make me cry, but that's <laughs> all in a day's work. Get in the plan. <laughs> yeah. All right, anything else? Can I ask one question before you adjourn? Sure. 
how much longer do you think you'll be doing the monthly meetings? Because this is costing the taxpayers, instead of doing them quarterly, quite a bit more. Well, uh, we, had, we had brought it up last month about doing it uh, for the next three months, okay? And the reason being is because we have a new administrator, seeing how train is going, and then we're going to have to come back and check this quarterly thing. So after next month's meeting, you see it going quarterly? I, I would sure like it to go quarterly. Uh, if I add to that, I, I'd say there's enough, there's been enough progress and enough training done Good. that I would say after this one, we could go back to quarterly that after you get to inspect those cars. And that's, yeah. that's, that's, a, that's a failure on my part, at, but we weren't, what? I wasn't trained to add those dates so but i'll get those dates but i think after you inspect those cars i wouldn't see any reason to, to not go back to quarterly because we're you know if, if there's some sort of issue something big that blows up or something That's like that we can always call a meeting <coughs> but i, I and don't your, your file's not going to be that big no, no. ever again no, I hope. it won't be that, that that was well of course it hadn't been a whole quarter either so you got that but i think that would uh I, I don't see the need in it after the next one simply for that reason and, and then we'll work through we'll have guidance about the ballot box yes guidance is, is, is there, there a limit on how many meetings we can have or we have a new administrator would it be remiss had we not met tonight i mean we needed to meet tonight i, I don't i don't think this meeting was a mistake at all absolutely I, I don't, and I, and I, and, and if, if I were in your position and there was a new administrator, I would want information because what I do reflects on you all. So if, if I'm screwing this up, you need to know it. Well, so I don't think this meeting was a mistake at all. It's worth the meeting. Man. Just find that one thing. Yeah, but well, I, I just, I don't think having this meeting was a mistake because it, it, I hope that you see in what we're doing and, and how we're doing things that's instilled some confidence in you and I hope it's instilled some confidence in the voters. Uh, We've also been running on a short commission, so that's been saving the taxpayers. We had three up until tonight and we will probably have lower on us the next meeting. We're still paying more for y'all to meet every month than yes, we sir. quarterly. Yes, sir. I got a question. Do you have a full board now? We do no. not. We are still a member short. Okay. And I don't this. I don't guess we have his. Uh, this is Donna Melton. She's a retired teacher. Okay. All right. And I'm just going to address this. I am not, and I have always been conservative with taxpayer money. You know that. I'm sorry. So, Say that again. I have always been conservative with taxpayer money. Okay. Y'all all know that. Okay. I'm, yeah. Well, so I'm not. I'm not for. <laughs> For meeting unnecessarily. You're Donna Melton. Who's, I'm Donna Melton. Who's missing there? What are, who are we missing? We're missing a Republican. We're missing Republican. a Republican because they okay. not the enough. state is okay. refusing to put any Republican okay. in that we've seen. That's all. That's all that's 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 no, no, that wasn't Jeff Charles. That was just, just yeah. yeah. No. My one well, they've question, got to find one they can buy before they'll approve them. Have they rejected some people that y'all recommended? I, have not I haven't recommended anybody. Okay, well, Bruce Griffith's going to work on this, and Jeff, you might want to talk to uh, or you might want to talk to them. Uh, I haven't, haven't given me a call. I'll be glad to talk to them. Yeah, because we need to have a full committee. I agree. Uh -huh. But I haven't, talk, I haven't recommended anybody. Yeah. Okay. All right. Anything else? Anything anybody else wants to say? Can I, can I ask? Yeah. Let them have their public forum tonight since it's not in the rules. <coughs> help them. Okay. Uh, well, uh, well, they they kind of been doing <laughs> it. That, yeah. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm happy with the way y'all been answering questions. Yeah, I, I got good. no complaints. I ain't good. I'm just, I'm just saying in officially give you guys your public forum. Well, we just had it. In the <laughs> well, when you were talking about agenda items, you were talking about what you're going to put on here. This is not, what is it, public comments or something afterwards, right? You're still going to have the... the. If you call them and... No, and no, let me, let me finish this. Uh, what, she, what I understand she was asking, she was wanting to put an agenda item on. 
And what I'm talking about now, we're just asking questions, trying to clarify things. Are you still going to allow that? For you to ask questions? Yeah, that's what I mean. No, no, I'm not talking about agenda item. I'm just talking about questions asked to clarify things. That's all I'm talking about. So you want to know, yeah. like, if something comes up in one of our meetings, if you want to clarify, like, if you have a question about something that we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not talking about agenda items. I'm You're just talking asking. about clarification on yes, what, yeah. we're voting for, but what we're voting on and what that means. Or, yeah, or, yeah, or maybe a question that has to do with, with I don't know, you know what I mean. I'm not, I'm not talking about sir, agenda. Sir, there, there won't be any reason why you won't be able to stand up and ask okay, a question. That's, that's okay, fine. that's fine. That's good. We're, what we're getting at and what I'm getting at, and this is I'm driving this, okay, is to bring some order and some officialness to the process. That's it. I'm not, I'm not trying to silence anybody. I'm not trying to take anybody's free speech away from them. We just got to have order. Oh, okay, and, I understand. And, and, I understand. And, and you should be the process. We know. Uh, it's the yeah. difference between a agenda item and a question. Yeah, it's, I'm just trying to standardize okay. the process. Well, here's so the problem. The problem is that you bring up a, a point of business and you vote on it, and none of the public has been invited to comment on what you've just brought up and we've heard for the first time. I'm not saying you specifically. No, but this but, and we can on call on it, so comment on it after you, after you vote. Well, whoop de doo, man! You're supposed to represent them, not rule them. Uh, I don't think nobody's trying to rule you, ma'am. And since you won't give me your name and your phone number, if you keep an eye on the Facebook page, I'll put the information is out there for the ladies that wouldn't give me your name. Well, it's not that. I, I don't want to be harassed. I'm not going to harass All anybody. Is, and I, I understand. I, understand I don't want to be harassed. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I don't participate in that at all. I've I, been there, I've been there. Great. I just don't want to be driving down the road and pulled over by the you. police because I asked a question oh, at oh, the yeah. election commission. Oh. I'm, I'm saying 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 I'm 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 Yeah, yeah. yeah. You why have. don't you ask anybody here if they have any complaint about how you conducted this meeting and the way it turned out? No, no, zero. Okay, then I'm very happy. I'm proud of them. <laughs> I'm, I I'm very happy with Jeff. And they've been very open, so let's don't try to make a mountain out of a molehill, okay? Could, could I ask another thing? Is it possible that you could put agenda on the, in the paper or on Facebook or something like that? It's on the list. It goes on the list. Oh, it is? Okay, that's all right. And it will be there. Yeah, that's good. Now, Jim, it's on the Benton County Election Commission page. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't and that's right. That. Correct. It's not on the... It, the election commission is not really affiliated with the county site, so they have their own Facebook page. And this Facebook administrator thing is completely foreign to me. I'm learning, but I promise you that it'll be on there in ample time. Okay, I promise it'll be on there at okay. least seven days ahead. Oh, yeah, you you called me like three different times over the same same part of the agenda, so I don't know if it was seven days that they got put on there, but I do remember. Yeah. Helping you put it on. It's, so. it's one of them new guy things, but it's I'm getting there. Anything else? There it is. We appreciate yeah. your work. We know we might that. sound like yeah. we just don't trust yeah. how you got here. No, 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 no. That's not your fault. So you don't trust no. how we got here. Yeah. I well, that but that like she said, that's not y'all's fault. That's not y'all's fault. Pick yourself. Something happened but that there was, was down a lot of There was not good stuff happening. Just be patient. Thank you. Oh, this is your boy. Uh, <laughs> I want to be able for you to listen. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go schedule an appointment. I need to know dates so of when people have to turn in for the school board and all that. And you can have them printed up. I figured you probably have to have them somewhere, but I'm going to ask you again on that. I'll have to look it up. Well, I'm going to swing out if you don't mind and pick that up tomorrow. Thank you for your service on me, but you're ready.